جزا الله بالخيرات عنا إماتا لنا نقل القرآن عذبا وسلسالا فمنهم بدور سابعة قد تواساطت سماء العلا والعادل زهرا وكمالا My beloved brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to be speaking about the third shubha, the third doubts that the enemies of al-Islam, the Orientalists, the missionaries, the non-Muslims in general have brought regarding the preservation of the, the Qur'an, the preservation of the Qur'an. In this episode, I want to speak about the doubt uh, in which they have said, or the doubt that they brought forward saying that the Qur'an or the Qira'at, there is contradiction in it. Wujudu tanaqud bayn al-Qira'at. Wujudu tanaqud في بعض القراءات وجود التناقض في بعض القراءات that there is contradiction between some of the قراءات they are saying that these two قراءة are polar opposites they cannot be reconciled there's no way to bring them together ولا توفيق بين المرادين they're saying that there's no possible way to reconcile between these two meanings that's their argument we Muslims, we believe there is variation and differences in the Qiraat. And the meanings are different. Muslims are not denying that. But what they're saying is there's no contradiction. Maybe one verse is given an extra meaning to what this verse isn't. But to say they're contradicting each other, that one is affirming something and the other one is negating it. There is nothing like that in the Qiraat. So they said, yes, there is. Let us give you an example. And the example they gave is قوله تعالى غلبت الروم Allah says Alif Lam Mim غلبت الروم في أدنى الأرض وهم من بعد غلبهم سيغلبون They said, this qira'ah that you just read of the Rahman is a, recite, is a recitation, a qira'ah which is mutawatir, mass transmission, the seven qurra already like that. But they said there's another qira'ah. There's another qira'ah read by Ali and other companions, which says, غلبت الروم في أدنى الأرض وهم من بعد غلبهم سيغلبون. It's another qira'ah. And the two qira'ah that we have, Abdul Rahman, are contradicting one another. How are they contradicting one another? They're contradicting one another. The first qira'ah, which you've recited, says الروم, the Romans the Byzantine Empire has been defeated okay الروم, في أدنى الأرض in the nearest land في أدنى الأرض وهم من بعد غلبهم سيغلبون and after their defeat the Roman uh, or the Byzantine uh, Empire will then defeat its enemy that's what you recited that's your recitation Abdul Rahman that you recited which is the Qira'a of the Qura'a is Sab'a. But the Qira'a that we also have from Ali and other noble companions says, غَلَبَتِ الرُّومِ The Roman, I mean the Byzantine Empire, defeated its enemy. وَهُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ غَلَبِهِمْ سَيُغْلَبُونَ And in the nearest of land, they will surely be defeated. Opposite to what you just said. In the first verse, it's suggesting that the Romans will be defeated and then the Romans will then defeat. The, the one we gave you, or the Qira'ah that we're telling you now, it's saying that the Romans, they defeated. And after a period of time, the Romans will then be defeated. Or the Byzantine Empire will be defeated. The Byzantine, or the, or the Romans, are an empire that existed. Uh, at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, their main capital was in Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, Turkey. That was the capital for them. Islam destroyed and annihilated their empire. And as you can see today, Turkey is a Muslim, is a Muslim country. What's the response to this? What is the response to this shubha? The response is in the following way. Number one, 
The Qira'ah that we recited, which is Ghulibatil Rum, Fi Adna Al Ardi Wahum Min Badi Ghalabim Sayag Libun. This is the Qira'ah which is Mutawatira, mass transmission. It's an accepted recitation. As for the recitation that they brought forward, is a recitation which is Mardud. It's rejected because it's a recitation which is Shad. It's Shad. It's a recitation which is Shad. So there can't be a contradiction between a qira'a which, or there should not be a contention. There should not be a conflict between a qira'a which is sahih and a qira'a which is marduda, a qira'a which is maqbula, accepted, and one that's rejected. Okay? That's the first response. The second response is, we are able to reconcile between the two. There isn't actually even a conflict in terms of meaning. There is not. The first qira'ah, of course, the one we recited, Ghulibati uh, al and then Sayyaghalibun. This qira'ah, of course, it's talking about the Romans will win and defeat the Persians. In a short period of time, Okay, in a very short period of time, the Ghulibati Rum, the Romans will be defeated before, and now the Romans will then defeat the Persians' uh, empire in a short period of time. That's what the first recitation says. And that's what happened. Also, the time that the Romans beat the Persians correlated to the time that the Muslims beat the Kufar Quraysh. And as you know, the Romans, they were Christians, so they were holding onto a book, and the Persians were Zoroastrians. They didn't have a scripture or a book. The Muslims, on the other hand, have a religion from Allah Azza wa Jalla, which is Haqq, and there's no other religion which is Haqq other than Islam. Whereas Kufar Quraysh had no scripture, they were not holding on to a scripture, a scripture. They were idol worshippers. So it resembled one another from that perspective. That's what the first Qira'ah is talking about. The second Qira'ah is talking about when it says Ghalabati Rum, and then Sayughlabun is referring to that the Romans, the Romans, Ghalabati Rum here means the Romans beat Sawad al-Sham, the people of Sham, the people of Levant, which historically happened. And it was then given the believers, Sayyug Labuna, the Romans will then be defeated. It was telling the believers that you guys are going to beat the Romans and you guys are going to defeat the Romans. And if you look at the Islamic history, the ninth year of the Hijrah, the Sahabas radiallahu ta'ala anhum, they defeated some of the Romans, uh, took some of their lands from them. So the two recitations we were able to reconcile uh, between it. And the second answer that we also gave is that one qira'a is shad and the other qira'a is Mutawatir. Uh, and one qira'a is accepted, and another recitation is rejected. And the scholars, they mention that the differences in the Quran are two types. Okay? Um, the scholars mentioned, the scholars they mentioned that the differences are two types that are generally found. Ikhtilaf, which is called Ikhtilaf al Tanawu, the scholars they speak about it. Ibn Qutayba mentions it in his, kita in his, in his works that the uh, ikhtilaf is two types. Ikhtilaf which is tanawu' and ikhtilaf al-tabad. Ikhtilaf al-tanawu' means there are variations but there's ways to bring them together. They complement one another. The Qur'an's differences are ikhtilaf al-tanawu' The Qur'an does not have in it ikhtilaf al-tabad. The Qira'at is not Ikhtilaf al-Tabad, which is recitations that cannot be brought together, that contradict one another. It's not. 
Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymi rahimahullah, he said, وَلَا نِزَاعَ بَيْنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ أَنَّ الْحُرُوفَ السَّبْعَةَ There is no difference amongst the scholars. There is no difference amongst the Muslims. And الْحُرُوفَ السَّبْعَةَ The seven dialects and seven modes of recitation. التي أنزل القرآن عليها which the Quran was sent down on. لا تتضمن تناقض المعنى. It doesn't have any contradiction in meaning. And those recitations do not contradict one another. بَلْ قَدْ يَكُونُ مَعْنَهُمْ مُتَّفِقًا أَوْ مُتَقَارِبًا Sometimes the wordings are actually the same. Like, يَا يَلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ فَاسِقٌ بِنَبَئٍ فَتَبَيَّنُوا أَنْ فَتَتَبَّتُوا They're the same. And sometimes there may be slight differences in the word meaning, but they are close in meaning. أَوْ مُتَقَارِبًا Both meanings are very close. Both meanings are very close. You're not going to find in the Qira'at of the Qur'an Tanaqur. They don't contradict one another. Because they're all from Allah Azza wa Jalla. وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اِخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا If the Qur'an was to come from other than Allah, yes, then it would have, had a, it would have contained in it and it would have had in it contradiction. So Alhamdulillah in this episode, we have destroyed the doubt and shubha which they brought forward saying that there is Tanaqur fi ba'd al-Qira'at. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. I'll see you guys inshallah ta'ala in the next episode. Barakallahu feekum for listening. Wa jazakumullahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.